Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Tarot Love Read. My name's Morty. I'm super excited to have you guys here. Today is Tuesday, April 16th. The time is 12.47 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. <clears throat> yeah, so I was just sitting here thinking and meditating, right? Communicating with my guides prior to turning on the camera and starting the read. Yeah, and for whatever reason, I've, I feel a little bit compelled to take just a minute and to talk about the benefit of the doubt. You know, I mean, all of us, in some way, shape, or form, don't all of us want to have the benefit of the doubt at, at some point, right? To be trusted, right, by others, right? Even if we're not coming through, is to know and feel that they were giving us the benefit of the doubt. Recognizing that, I think, only increases our awareness on coming through the next time. Why? Because we know that that person is not only believing in us, but they're counting on us. So yeah, it's such a beautiful energy of giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. It really is. I mean, it. it's like it frees you up in so many ways, right? It frees you of these other limiting negative energies that you could take on by not giving the person the benefit of the doubt because now it kind of becomes more of a personal thing, right? And when it gets personal, it gets personal. So we can really shift and change our energies, right? And it can take you out of that energy of unconditional love and peace. It's like, what is the harm in giving somebody the benefit of the doubt? If they let you down, they let you down. But I think it matters to them to know that you were believing in them, right? That you gave them the benefit of the doubt. I think it makes a difference for them. It causes them to raise their level of awareness and inspires them to show up and come through next time. So, yeah, and I, honestly, I really don't have any idea where any of that is coming from, but it's coming in, right? It's coming into me, so I feel like I, it's something that is, 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 it's important for me to share today. Um, so wherever you are in the world and whoever it is you happen to be working with, or maybe working with several people, do yourself the favor today and do them the favor too. And regardless, of what the, what the turnout is, what the results are, right? Give yourself the opportunity to give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Free yourself from those limiting energies uh, and kind of guarantee that you're able to keep your place in this, you know, this blanket of unconditional love because you're trusting, right? And it feels good to trust. I mean, you want to trust people, you know? I mean, I don't know. To me, that's what it's all about. Like, I just don't like living in a world of distrust. I, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, anymore. I mean, I've really been taking on some, some serious internal changes. Um, I don't think I've ever been more of a pacifist in my life. Uh, and I've been a pretty feisty individual. I mean, I have a colorful history. Um, so I understand the alpha male thing, right? But I don't know. It's like, I just don't want to, I don't want to disrupt and, and I don't want to do anything negative or limiting to anybody, right? I really, truly, all I want to share is unconditional love. And I, and I want my come from to always be a, coming from a place of unconditional love because that way it helps me live with me. It truly does, right? Because I'm one of those people that I care so much about what everybody else thinks, especially as it pertains to me. Like I'm just not somebody who clips off people in my life, right? Where I'm, I, I have friends one day and then they're not my friends the next day. I'm just not that guy. It's like, I enjoy those friendships. Um, I enjoy that trust. So to me, that's what it's all about. That's what lifts me and inspires me. So anyways, yeah, that's my share for the day. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I do. I'm just, I'm just kind of processing a little bit right now. Right? I'm just seeing if there's anything there's anything more that I want that needs to be shared on that. Hmm. 
Well, it's like this. You can't make everybody happy all the time, right? Uh, and that honestly has been one of my biggest lessons on a personal level that I've had to learn in life. Because there were times in life where, man, I just made myself completely miserable trying to make everybody around me happy to where I, I lost myself completely. Um, <laughs> it's an uphill battle. It's just, it's just not a possibility. So you're gonna take some rejection, right? You're gonna take you're gonna take some darts or some arrows from people that maybe disagree with the way you do things, the way your style, your approach, or whatever it is. Um, so you don't have to take on that those negative energies and own them, especially if you know and feel within your heart that you're come from is always a place of unconditional love. And that's a beautiful place to be. It's a beautiful energy to be able to feel and to share with others, right? If you can work on maintaining and keeping yourself in that energy of unconditional love and to do so, it's so important to always give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, benefit of the doubt. Okay, Tara Love Read, April 16th, Tuesday. Interesting, we have Safe Travel, the number 22, which reduces to a four. Uh, four represents stability, security, right? being on a firm foundation. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. It's beautiful. So somebody out there, possibly looking at traveling, right? Sometime in the near future here, right? maybe sometime very soon. It's a beautiful affirmation. Kind of curious to see how it's incorporated into today's Tara Love Read. I mean, I'm somebody who likes to, I like to be given the benefit of the doubt. I do. Because I already know myself well enough to know that, you know what, I am just not going to be that person that's going to say the right things all the time. I've tried to be. I have oh, I have spent my, it's been my life quest to try to be that guy. It's just not a possibility, right? So you don't always say the right things and do the right things and make everybody happy, right? But if they can, if others can just grant you the benefit of the doubt to know that, you know what, you're coming from a place of unconditional love. You're doing your best. You're doing your very best on this experience that we've all signed up for to participate in. And that's truly what this life is, is this is this life is all about experience. It's all about unconditional love too. It's all about balancing the scales of energies and duality. It's about continuing the experience, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna shuffle one more time. Uh, I get talking and I kind of, I kind of space where I was at. But I think I already shuffled, well I know I already shuffled before. But I think I even cut the deck already. That's right, my guides know me. They know how I operate. They know my come from. <laughs> okay, beautiful. I say beautiful when we pull the death card. But it is beautiful. It's the card of Scorpio. Some of you could be in a relationship with a Scorpio, or you may be a Scorpio. This is the opening energy taking us into today's Tarot Love Read, right? So this represents, this is a transformation, right, for somebody. This is the ending and the completion of, I don't know, what feels like it's been a very long journey, right? A long cycle with a lot of lessons, um, a lot of growth and a lot of expansion that is behind this ending, right? Leading up to it. So 
So something coming to an ending in somebody's life, right? Why? Because you have a major new beginning starting for yourself. Pretty major. I can feel how major it is. It's pretty major. You have all kinds of beautiful changes coming into your life, right? You this ray of light that's just piercing through the sky. It's piercing through even death himself. It illuminates the uh, headstone. The writing on the headstone, it's in Latin, but translated it says, life is changed, not taken. All right, so somebody has some pretty tremendous change coming into their life. It's beautiful change, it's good change, I can feel that. Okay, we now have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, Aces represent new beginnings, right? So this is the beginning of, Swords are mental energy, right? So this is the beginning of a new understanding, right? a new way of looking at life, looking at people, a new way of experiencing life. Hmm. It's a good card, I mean, um, the roses are really popping out to me, along with the butterflies. Right. So I think for many, this could be this. This represents like the new beginning of love, the way you see and experience love. Okay, King of Wands, uh, beautiful energy, fire sign energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, King energy. So male, but again, doesn't have to be at all. He kneels behind his companion, the lion, representing power and strength. His other companion is the dragon, representing speed and fire. It's a great energy, right? This king of wands, I mean, he knows what he wants in life, right? He can feel those energies within him and he goes after it. It's pretty, pretty assertive. I say assertive more than aggressive. Because it seems like a pretty tame and pretty controlled energy, right? still has the magnetic charm that can sweep both men and women off their feet. It's very inspiring to other people. It really lifts and motivates them. It's a great energy. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, we now have the Six of Cups. Uh, Six of Cups is a good energy. It represents the energy of looking back on the past, on fond memories of the past, right? So you're looking back on positive memories. These are all full cups in the water. So full cups represent good, secure, exciting memories. These are memories that serve you very well. So that, yeah, there's some significance and there's some importance to this specific energy in this card because it's coming in at the center of the today's tarot reading. Um, yeah, but I need to see more cards before I can put that together. Okay, coming in next to the Six of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands represents the ending of a long journey. And I'll be honest, right? I can kind of feel the weight of this journey right now and I'm telling you, for whoever this this is for out there, this is one hell of a journey. <laughs> Truly it is. Uh, all kinds of lessons and growth. Uh, yeah, you've really been you've really been tested. Uh, tested in so many ways, and I think you passed the test. Because this journey is coming to an ending, right? Yeah. Endings come after we've learned all the lessons that are meant to be learned. The horse is tired. He's been carrying this man and this man's burdens in the heat of the sun. He needs rest. The man looks tired too. Like maybe he's not only been carrying his burdens, but he's been carrying the burdens of others, right? This is a time to whew, set down the weight of those burdens, right? And allow this journey to end. And I'm feeling the lightness that comes with this energy after this journey ends and it's beautiful.
Beautiful. We now have the Empress. Beautiful energy, right? The Empress is the, represents the energy of the mother of all things earthly. Right? So she represents unconditional love to anything and everybody around her. It's a balanced energy with one foot in the water and one foot on dry land. She's surrounded by butterflies, representing rebirth. Right? She's also pregnant with a child. So some of you could be stepping into pregnancy. Um, if so, congratulations. But I, I know I feel like there. She does represent a beginning. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm feeling like. Is I'm feeling that somebody out there has recognized their value. That you've recognized your worth. And you're taking on this energy of unconditional love within yourself. And it's your ability to do that that now allows you to be able to project that same feeling of unconditional love to everybody else around you. It's a beautiful energy. It's fantastic. That's the important thing to remember with the energy of the Empress is that the only reason that she's able to offer and share unconditional love to everybody around her is because she's we can never give to others what we don't have for ourselves inside right so she's learned to feel the same sense of unconditional love and recognize it within herself and her own energy first I don't know I'm kind of feeling like that's part of this transformation for somebody right we talk about takeaways, right? I think that's one of your takeaways, is recognizing your your value, your worth, and your inner beauty. Really feeling it. Okay. Coming in underneath the Ace of Swords, we have the Unknown card. I chuckle every time this card comes up, right? This is the only card in the deck that's like this. Uh, this is the only deck that I'm aware of that has a card in it called the Unknown card. Wherever this card falls into the tarot spread, whatever question it's associated to, the answer is not meant to be known right now. Could be too soon to know. Possibly because choices haven't been made. So it's coming under, it's falling underneath this Ace of Swords, right? So it's coming underneath this, this beginning. Okay, coming in under the King of Wands, we have the Moon card. Uh, so the Moon card represents, uh, it's the card of Pisces. So some of you could be in a relationship with the Pisces or you may be a Pisces. Uh, I think the emphasis here is the energy that's in the card. And it's a pretty courageous card and courageous energy is it uh, represents the energy of facing and embracing some of our deeper seated limitations, right? We all have them within us. These are the heavy things like inadequacy, fear of abandonment, codependency. I mean, some of those, they ring true with me. I get them. <laughs> Very human. But it's your willingness to face and embrace these things. And what I'm feeling for somebody out there is I feel like that's been, that's all been a part of this transformation, I, this is why this is the first card coming out. This is all about the transformation for, for somebody or for two people out there. Okay, coming in underneath the Six of Cups, 
we have the Seven of Wands. And it must be pretty important energy because it's coming in at the center of today's tarot read. Seven of Wands represents the energy of being on the defensive, right? Feeling like you have to defend yourself uh, all the time. Defending your feelings. Defending your position, your stance, right? Possibly defending yourself to other people. Possibly even defending yourself to yourself. If that makes any sense, right? It's, it can be questioning yourself, questioning your behaviors, questioning your actions, question choices that you've made. Maybe you're even questioning whether or not, you know, you're like, it's, I've been following my intuition, right? And, and kind of uh, feeling like, mm, not providing you the kind of results that you were looking for. And so you questioned it, right? Okay, coming in underneath the Ten of Wands, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a good energy. It uh, represents the energy. If you look at the figure in the card, she's chosen to take a seat on the side of this hill where she's overlooking the entire valley underneath her, right? representing the path that's ahead of her. She's getting ready to sit down and embark on a great journey. She takes out a crystal ball and she holds it up to the sun. And it creates these two rays of light. Right, So this could represent the energy of maybe you taking on this journey with another person could be two of you going on it right, so she's trying to get an idea of what this journey looks like ahead right. hmm. she can manifest what this journey looks like right with her thoughts her imagination Coming in underneath the Empress, we have the Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords represents the energy of whatever, this is resistance in your life, right? This is, it could represent the energy of stepping into something, feeling like you're a little better prepared and qualified than you are, only to learn you weren't, right? A little premature. Um, He's bending down to pick up these, his two swords. In the meantime, his other five swords are flying above his head. He's being taunted with them, right? So he's kind of outmanned. Uh, this represents a resistance in your life, right? Whatever feels like it may be an uphill battle. You're being encouraged to disengage, right? To pull back. It doesn't matter who won, what the score was. It just serves you best to let go and disengage. Okay, energy taking us out of today's tarot read is, tarot love read is the Ace of Cups, which is very appropriate for a love read, right? This is the beginning. Uh, the beginning of something that uh, could be the beginning of a romantic relationship. Uh, it's cups, so it represents feelings, emotion, and love, right? So this is the beginning of something in your life that you really love, that you're passionate about. It's a beautiful beginning because I can feel the energies in it. It's fantastic. Okay, guys, I have this tarot read done now. I need to take just a moment. I need to look at the cards and see where they are in terms of relationship with each other, where they're placed. I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share with me by way of message. And then I can share the whole read with you. So hang on just a few moments while I do this. I recommend you sit back and enjoy the soothing sounds of the background music. And by the way, oh, it is 1.11 right now. Just happen to look at the clock. Um, the background music is the love frequency, opening up your heart chakra. Great soothing vibes, so I went with them. Hang on just a few moments.
Okay, well, I think I have it here. So our opening affirmation, taking us into the reading, I'm kind of feeling two meanings here, right? Safe travel. For some, I think this represents you, you traveling along this transformation, right? The, this journey that you've been on, um, allowing this journey to come to an ending, right? Safely coming to an ending. Um, it's beautiful. For others of you, I think you may be traveling, right? Maybe, uh, I don't know, there's boats in the water, but I'm feeling airplanes, right? I'm feeling like you're probably flying. Opening energy taking us into today's Tarot Love Read is the death card, right? So something coming to an ending for somebody. It's a beautiful ending, right? This is a transformational kind of card, and there's serious transformation behind the energy in this card for whoever this represents. I can feel the growth. I can feel the transformation. I can kind of feel your gratitude, right? As you receive this transformation. I think you're very grateful. So we have this ace of swords, right? This new beginning that's starting. A new way of seeing things, new way of understanding. And the unknown card coming in underneath it. And I think the unknown card is, is showing up because I don't think you've actually you've communicated right recently in a way that uh, in a way that lets you both know that you both have the same thing in mind. That you're you both you're working on manifesting, you know, bringing the two of you together. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling at least for this reading today. I'm not feeling like that's taken place quite yet. kind of like somebody has to reach out. Okay, so this journey that you've been on, right, for somebody, maybe for two people. It is, it's a journey for both of you, right? You've both been on this journey. You're both going through this transformation, right? And it's a transformation that you're both experiencing from working on trying to bring the two of you together. I don't think it's been an easy journey at all. You both had to face and embrace some of your deeper seated limitations, right? Really confront those and face those head on and got, let's tell you right now, is it was like out of your skin, uncomfortable. Ah, so uncomfortable, right? These taking on these limiting energies uh, and having to recognize those and work your way through those. I mean, tremendous growth. What's your takeaway from it, right? King of Wands kind of energy. It's like, wow, now you know who you are, what you represent, what you're, the value that you bring into this world. You're feeling comfortable in your own skin, right? Now you're motivated and you're ready to inspire. You're ready to create, right? And there's no better creator than the King of Wands. Tapping into his creative energies, coupled with his drive and his enthusiasm, his contagious energy, it's fantastic. So the history that's here, right, between these two people, I think there's there's part of that history that's pleasant, right? That's just very enjoyable and loving, right? Represented in the Six of Cups. And I think along that same journey, right, there's Seven of Wands, which is that energy of being on the defensive, right? I feel like there's been a lot of this energy. It's been a difficult energy for you to overcome. You're being encouraged to focus right now on the good memories of the past, right? Not these limited defensive energies. Hopefully these energies, they're gone for good, hopefully. I mean, you're stepping into a beautiful time in your life. Beautiful time with one journey, right? It's been a long journey of the two of you working on trying to bring yourselves together. Finally coming to an ending, right? And now you're ready to move forward, embark on this new journey together. It's very exciting. Yeah, just imagine it. Imagine it happening. Imagining all the pieces of the puzzle lining up and falling into place, right? So you first imagine it, which 
which means you have the faith and the hope and the trust that it will happen and don't marry yourself to any specific outcomes, right? Not with any specific individual. Just imagine it happening for yourself. And I only mentioned, you know, on the individual with not any specific individual because Right? For two people to come together, both people have to choose right? for themselves that that's something that they want to do. Right? So, we, so we can manifest having another person in our, in our lives right? to share that life, that love with. Um, but we can't force anything. Um, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't make sense to try to manifest somebody in your life that doesn't want to be a part of your life. Um, but you can manifest and you can imagine having a person come into your life, right? And provide you the energies together that you get to share. And then just allow the universe to step in to, to bring that to you, right? However that shows up. So we have the energy of the Empress. Stepping away from the energies that no longer serve you, right? Those defensive energies. Uh, that what feels like it's an uphill battle, right? You know, and I also feel with the Seven of Swords that stepping away from the, the failures of the past, right? The disappointments and the heartbreak and the loss of the past. It's your willingness to step away from that. Walk away from those limiting energies. Walk towards the energy of the Empress, right? Recognizing your value and your worth. Right here, you have to fight for it, you know? You have to fight to try to have it, try to get it recognized. Over here, you just receive it. You welcome it. Where's it taking you? It's taking you to a beautiful beginning, right? For some, romantic relationship. For others, meaningful friendship. It could be work-related romance related, friendship related. It's a beginning that you love. Uh, that part's very evident. And we all welcome beginnings that we love, right? It's like we don't have to see it all, and know it all, and have it all. Ten. It's like, just trust that you have a beginning coming into your atmosphere that you love a lot. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with today's Tarot Love Read. It's a beautiful read. Um, it has definitely pulled me right into it. I'm still into it, actually. Um, yeah, it's like this... Yeah, what I so this whole overall read, what I'm feeling like is like... This is kind of like the summary of what has been a very long journey, right? A long journey of growth and expansion and understanding, a long journey of two people working on trying to bring themselves together, right? Trying to grow individually and work on themselves. Yeah. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, back to benefit of the doubt. Right? Now I want to put the challenge out to all of you. Try it today, right? As you're interacting in your day-to-day, -day, right? Take the time to give somebody the benefit of the doubt that maybe didn't have it coming to them, right? But even if you know better, just do it. Just trust. Let them know that you were, you know, you've trusted them. Um, that you gave them the benefit of the doubt see what it does to your own energy right i think it's a better energy for you to experience i really do so try it out i'll be anxious to hear in the comments how it works out for everybody okay guys thank you so much thank you for all the love and support that you provide me here at uh tarot love and abundance uh, I, i'm in I have a deep sense of appreciation for this entire experience and for all the love and support that you guys provide uh I can't thank you enough. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to share, right? To share. Try 
to spread unconditional love and try to take something that I have and to authentically share it with the world, right? And hope that it's well received. Okay, guys, have a beautiful day today.